Hey there! Today we're going to talk about an interesting pen. It's interesting, uh, I was contacted by Rama Priya and he said, uh, can I send you a pen? Well, <laughs> of course you can. Uh, and if I understand correctly, he had this pen made. It is a custom pen. Now, I'm not saying that this is the only pen in the world. I know for a fact that there are three others, one for him and two for his sons. Um, Maybe there are more, I don't know, but what I do know is that it's a very cool pen, and of course it's a really nice gift. So, Ramapriya, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm going to discuss the pen today. It came in this box, which is a fairly plain box. So you may think, well, it doesn't look too spectacular. Well, believe you me, it's going to look more spectacular. Because out of that box comes this box, which is made of bamboo. Yes, bamboo. You open that up, and then you have the pen. The pen is also made of bamboo. Whoops! That was the pen. Uh, it's right here. Um, bamboo. That's right. So it's not wood. It's bamboo. I'll cover the parts of the pen, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing sample. Okay, on top of the cap, I think you get this really nice pattern, uh, which is probably just an accident. I mean, this is what the, the bamboo looked like. Uh, we have the clip. The clip is a fairly simple design. Let's check the springiness. It's tight, but it's not overly tight. So that's the way I, I, I like it. This will definitely keep your pen in place, but it's not so tight that it'll rip your shirt pocket off or anything. We get a nice center band uh, focus, yes, which has these two black grooves in there. It's gold colored with the black grooves. The material of the pen, I think it's best to show you the, the barrel, because that's a lot of that stuff. It's really nice. I, I really appreciate it. As you can see, it can get some, some dings and dents, but it's, it's, I mean, this is a sort of living material, right? It's not steel or anything. Um, it's very interesting to the touch. It feels like it's, it's polished or something. It's not slippery smooth, but it's very smooth. Um, very interesting. I've, I've never felt a pen like this. Then again, I've, I've never used a bamboo pen, so I, I guess that makes sense. Uh, but very interesting. Very interesting material. Alright, then at the end, we get this little ring and then a sort of end knob, which has that same sort of dotted pattern. Alright, cap slips off. It's a very secure slip-on mechanism. Really, I mean, it really clicks on there tightly. You get the section and the nib. The nib, you would never have guessed, but it's marked Iridium Point, Germany, which is not necessarily a bad sign. Um, it's a bit of gold. Well, I mean gold, I'm sure it's not real gold, but, you know, gold-colored stuff there. This ring, you get the black section, which is plastic, and then you get another gold bit at the end. I've seen these sections before, then usually they were chrome-colored, I mean chrome instead of gold-colored. And you have the nib, which is, I think, pretty nice. Uh, focus. Focus. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Iridium Point, Germany. Gold-colored nib. All right. It came with a converter, which was a fairly slim... Uh, um, sort of push type converter, you know, the type of, of bar you, you, you squeeze like like a Parker converter. Um, I took that out, I used one of these, I had some of these Chinese converters lying around, they, they fit very well. And they're a bit broader, so I think they, they contain a little bit more, can keep a little bit more ink uh, in there. Uh, there is some ink on the section, just grab a cloth here to, to wipe that off. Um, and that's pretty much all there's to it. These are the parts of the pen. What can I say about the performance? The nib grade is something I think between fine and medium. It's it's not marked as far as I can see. Um, no, I don't think it's marked. That's okay. Something between fine and medium performs well. It's probably not the smoothest writer I've ever used, but it's most definitely not the scratchiest. It it just performs well. Um, has some springiness to it, which I did not expect which is nice, um, so it, that, that's that's pretty good performance. As I said, converter, I'm pretty sure you can put a standard international cartridge in it if you would like to. Um, 
and that's, that's pretty much all I can say about the pen. So what do I like about it, what do I not like about it? Well, first of all, I mean, the bamboo is really cool. The box alone is extremely cool, um, let alone the actual pen that came with it. Uh, I think that center band design is, is fascinating with those black grooves. I don't think I've ever seen that in a pen, uh, but I, I, I do really enjoy it. Um, I like the way that the, you, you hold the pen. I think posting is not a great success. Now, probably because this is bamboo, you, you wouldn't want this to get scratched or anything, so I, I don't think you, you really want to post it. The downside to that is that you won't get a huge pen, as you can see. It's not, it's not huge. It's big enough to be used comfortably by me. Um, but it's it's you know it's not postable. So that's what I like about it. One thing I don't really like about it is that the step down from the section is a bit on the steep side, and that is no problem when you hold the pen, probably as it should be uh, held, a bit bit low right there. Uh, but if you're like me and you tend to hold your pen a bit higher, then you're right there on this step down bit, uh, and that can become a little annoying. It's not overly sharp or anything. I've had sharper sections, but um, it's a step down, and that's what your fingers are grabbing, so it's, it's not extremely comfortable. So when, when I use it, I really have to push myself to keep my fingers where they should be and not let the pen slide up a bit, or down a bit, depending on your viewpoint. Um, a minor thing, because that's just, you know, related to how you hold the pen and, and what you do with it. So there we go. I think that's everything I can tell you about the pen. I think right now you should see it in action. So that's what I'm going to do next, a writing sample. I hope this was useful, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with this really nice custom bamboo pen. Now, I'm not really posting this one, actually. Let me see. So what we have us here is... Custom bamboo pen. The nib grade, I would say, is something in the fine to medium range. It depends a little bit on how much pressure you exert. The ink is Gaon Dash. Oops, Dash. Uh, blue. Sky blue. Sky and the paper is trusty Rodia. Alright, let's do a bit of writing. good. It's a fairly smooth nib. Um, it being a bit on the fine side, you feel some feedback uh, when you write, but it's not extremely pronounced. I'm, I'm finding this, this nib keeps up pretty well and does fairly well. Maybe we should do some fast writing to see whether the feed keeps up too. No real skipping, um, at least not that I could see. No, maybe a little bit there, but that's hardly noticeable. Uh, and of course, I mean, I guess you would have to do a lot of writing at this speed to, to really dry out the feed, but I mean, it, it doesn't skip straight away, so that's a good sign. Then I would like to have a look at wetness. You see we get a fairly even patch of ink. Uh, which is drying up fairly quickly. As I said, it's a fairly fine nib too, so that was to be expected. It's not a, a broad gusher. Okay, uh, maybe some uh, some line variation. Let's see how much we can get out of that. So I'm adding more pressure as we go here. Now, as you can see, that actually gives us some pressure. Uh, sorry, some some variation. Actually, that is not half bad. I think that's a pretty nice bit of variation for such a, uh, a fairly interesting Iridium Point Germany nib. Um, 
I don't even have to squeeze, um, uh, press down too hard. I mean, this is not a whole lot of pressure, and yet you see the, the differences in line variation. So that's quite nice. Uh, I think it's an impressive pen. Uh, I, I, I think it's uh, it's definitely a, a looker, which is not to say that it doesn't perform well, but it, it's it's really nice to look at, very nice to the touch. So that's very cool. Uh, I think we should all thank Rama Priya for making these pens, or at least having them made, and actually sending me one so that I could review one. And um, that's all there's to it. So I hope this was useful, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.